In a bustling city full of towering skyscrapers and fast-paced life, there lived a man named Ethan. Ethan was a successful executive, running a large corporation. He lived in a luxurious penthouse, drove a sleek sports car, and wore the finest designer clothes. However, despite his wealth and success, Ethan felt an emptiness in his heart that he couldn't explain. He believed that acquiring more possessions would fill the void, but the more he had, the less content he felt. One day, while on a business trip to a small town, Ethan noticed a serene park nearby. He decided to take a break and enjoy the peaceful surroundings. As he strolled around the park, he saw an old man sitting on a bench, smiling as he fed the birds. His clothes were simple, and he had a small bag of possessions by his side, yet his face glowed with contentment. Intrigued, Ethan approached the old man and asked, Sir, you seem to have so little, yet you look so content. How is that possible? The old man named Leo smiled at Ethan and said, My son, be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. Ethan was puzzled by Leo's words. He asked, But how can I be content when there is so much more to acquire and achieve? Leo responded, Ethan, true contentment does not come from possessing more but from appreciating what you already have. The beauty of the sky, the song of the birds, the smile of a stranger, these are the real treasures. When you understand this, you will realize there is nothing lacking and the whole world will indeed belong to you. Ethan thanked Leo for his wisdom and returned to his corporate world, but Leo's words stayed with him, prompting him to question his approach to life. Gradually, Ethan began to shift his focus from acquiring more to appreciating what he already had. He started spending more time with his family, enjoying the company of his friends, and even rejoicing in the solitude of his own company. He began to notice the beauty of a sunset, the melody of rain, and the joy of simple conversations. As Ethan embraced contentment, he discovered a sense of peace and fulfillment that he had never experienced before. His relationships improved, his work became more meaningful, and he found joy in the simplest things. He realized that there was indeed nothing lacking, and for the first time, he felt like the whole world belonged to him. From then on, Ethan lived his life with a newfound sense of contentment, sharing Leo's wisdom with everyone he met, making his world and the world of those around him a happier and more fulfilling place.